Gaseous ionization detectors are radiation detection instruments used in particle physics to detect the presence of ionizing particles, and in radiation protection applications to measure ionizing radiation. They use the ionizing effect of radiation upon a gas-filled sensor. If a particle has enough energy to ionize a gas atom or molecule, the resulting electrons and ions cause a current flow which can be measured. Gaseous ionization detectors form an important group of instruments used for radiation detection and measurement. This article gives a quick overview of the principal types, and more detailed information can be found in the articles on each instrument. The accompanying plot shows the variation of ion pair generation with varying applied voltage for constant incident radiation. There are three main practical operating regions, one of which each type utilizes. Types The three basic types of gaseous ionization detectors are Ionization chambers Proportional counters Geiger-Muller tubes All of these have the same basic design of two electrodes separated by air or a special fill gas but each uses a different method to measure the total number of ion pairs that are collected, the strength of the electric field between the electrodes and the type and pressure of the fill gas determines the detector's response to ionizing radiation. Ionization chamber Ionization chambers operate at a low electric field strength, selected such that no gas multiplication takes place. The ion current is generated by the creation of ion pairs, consisting of an ion and an electron. The ions drift to the cathode whilst free electrons drift to the anode under the influence of the electric field. This current is independent of the applied voltage if the device is being operated in the ion chamber region. Ion chambers are preferred for high radiation dose rates because they have no dead time, a phenomenon which affects the accuracy of the Geiger Muller tube at high dose rates. The advantages are good uniform response to gamma radiation and give an accurate overall dose reading, will measure very high radiation rates. Sustained high radiation levels do not degrade fill gas. The disadvantages are very low electronic output requiring sophisticated electrometer circuit. Operation and accuracy easily affected by moisture. Proportional counter proportional counters operate at a slightly higher voltage, selected such that discrete avalanches are generated. Each ion pair produces a single avalanche so that an output current pulse is generated which is proportional to the energy deposited by the radiation. This is in the proportional counting region. The term gas proportional detector is generally used in radiometric practice and the property of being able to detect particle energy is particularly useful when using large area flat arrays for alpha and beta particle detection and discrimination, such as in installed personnel monitoring equipment. The wire chamber is a multi-electrode form of proportional counter used as a research tool. The advantages are can measure energy of radiation and provide spectrographic information, can discriminate between alpha and beta particles. Large area detectors can be constructed. The disadvantages are anode wires delicate and can lose efficiency in gas flow detectors due to deposition. Efficiency in operation affected by ingress of oxygen into fill gas. Measurement windows easily damaged in large area detectors. Geiger-Müller tube Geiger-Müller tubes are the primary components of Geiger counters. They operate at an even higher voltage, selected such that each ion pair creates an avalanche, but by the emission of UV photons. Multiple avalanches are created which spread along the anode wire, and the adjacent gas volume ionizes from as little as a single ion pair event. This is the Geiger region of operation. The current pulse is produced by the ionizing events are passed to processing electronics which can derive a visual display of count rate or radiation, dose, and usually in the case of handheld instruments, an audio device producing clicks. The advantages are cheap, robust detector with a large variety of sizes and applications. 
large output signal from tube requiring minimal electronic processing for simple counting, can measure overall gamma dose when using energy compensated tube. The disadvantages are, cannot measure energy of radiation, no spectrographic information, will not measure high radiation rates due to dead time, sustained high radiation levels will degrade fill gas, guidance on detector type usage. The UK Health and Safety Executive has issued a guidance note on the correct portable instrument for the application concerned. This covers all radiation instrument technologies and is useful in selecting the correct gaseous ionization detector technology for a measurement, application, everyday use. Ionization type smoke detectors are gaseous ionization detectors in widespread use. A small source of radioactive americium is placed so that it maintains a current between two plates that effectively form an ionization chamber. If smoke gets between the plates where ionization is taking place, the ionized gas can be neutralized leading to a reduced current. The decrease in current triggers a fire alarm.